Hello and welcome back once again to Product Placement. So today's item I saw in the store uh, either late 2020 or sometime in 2021, I don't really remember. And I haven't looked it up to see exactly when they came out. Uh, but it's something I had been intending to try for a while, but again, it came around that time that I sort of stopped buying things. So like I said, probably in 2021. But I was out picking things up the other day. You know, like I said, I went to a couple different stores, like, hey, I need to start buying these things so I can play catch up, get some videos out. And these were still on the shelf, so I grabbed them. Uh, when I grabbed these, I also found another new flavor that came out, so that'll be in a future video. Again, trying to do these in the order of when I think they came out versus what's more current. So I'm trying to do stuff from the past and then build up to stuff that would be from this year. So these are another flavor of M&M. Uh, I don't know if these were part of a contest or not. I don't see anything about winning flavors or anything. So I think it's just something new they put out. And today's item is fudge brownie M&Ms. These are in the purple package. They have the brown M&M on it. Uh, I know there was some thing that came up uh, probably around the same time these came out about they changed the green or the brown M&M or something. I think it was the green one. They were trying to make her less feminine for some reason. But yet the brown can stay feminine. Cause, I mean, the brown was always like that hot for teacher or the hot librarian type of thing where she's the businesswoman but was still quote unquote sexy. Where green was always like your typical like fashion model not the ditzy blonde type of thing but just a fashionable woman and again sexy but i guess now they're playing her down to make her more sporty or something and not as feminine which i don't know sexualizing the m&ms in the first place is kind of weird but yeah and then orange you know he's got emotional issues because he's always nervous all the time and there's something about the blue one like he's non-gender binary or something why do we have to use candy mascots to push these agendas i don't know they're candy mascots some are female some are male you know whatever their relationships are that's their problem it has we shouldn't be making it about gender identities when we're trying to sell candy but that's just my opinion anyway enough of that ramble i might actually cut that out because it's unimportant but yeah i know there was something going on with the whole green m m and there was uh, mascot and there was a controversy about it but these are miss brown so let's uh open these up and see what we think uh they are normal color it looks like i see green and blue and yellow and red so yeah these are just normal colored m m's nothing to where they're like a limited select color it smells like an m m chocolate with a candy shell let's taste it and see what we think cheers That's interesting. It tastes like a normal M&M, but the inside is a lot chewier. Like you're actually chewing on something instead of the chocolate just melting in your mouth. It almost tastes like you're chewing on a brownie. Other than that, they taste like a normal M&M. I don't get a lot of heavy fudge. There is something that has a bit more of like a dark chocolate kind of flavor versus a milk chocolate, which could be the fudge in the brownie. But yeah, for the most part, they kind of taste just like a normal M&M, but they are chewy, which is interesting. If orange is the crispy things, like the crispies or pretzels, I guess brown is now the chewy M&M. <laughs> okay, now that was a bit odd. So first of all, I was gonna say, when I say chewy, I don't mean just like you would be chewing on the candy shell, like it's actually a soft chew versus a crispy or a hard chew. When I said kind of like eating a brownie or a soft baked cookie, even chewing a piece of gum, how it's got that softer chew. That one, the reason I said it was weird is because I got a weird aftertaste on it. So the first one I did was the brown M&M. That one was a blue M&M, so it had the blue candy shell, like this one's green. And it had like almost an odd mint aftertaste. So the first one just tasted like brownie or chocolate or whatever, it just had a chew to it. That one had a weird aftertaste. So I'm gonna do one more just to see if it was just that one was weird. Uh, maybe it was run on the same line with something that had mint in it and it just carried over a little bit. I'm going to try this green one now and see if it's still there or if I'm imagining things.
Yeah, I think I was just imagining something or there was some type of carryover. No, there it is again. So I ate a green one and I got the normal brownie flavor again. So I ate another blue one, thinking maybe it was just something with the blue dye in the shell or something was accenting a flavor with the brownie that wouldn't normally be there. But with the second blue one, again, I was just like, nope, that's just brownie. But now I'm sitting here with the aftertaste and I still get that weird taste of mint. But now the question is, is it still carried over from the first blue one I ate or is it something specifically with the blue ones? So there I ate a brown one. No real aftertaste, like I'm still getting that minty breath. But again, that's because I just tasted mint a second ago. But that just tastes like brownie. So I pulled out another blue one. Let's see if it does it again. Yeah, weird. For some reason, the blue shells have a mint taste. None of the other one, the brown and the green don't. The blue one does. Let's try a yellow. Nothing weird with the yellow. Let's try a red. What the hell? The red has a raspberry taste. What the hell is going on with these M&Ms? I'm going to end up eating the whole damn package of them trying to figure this out. Let me try another red one, see if it does that again. I didn't get it until right at the end, but yeah, it has like a, almost a raspberry taste to it. The only color I didn't try is orange, and I only have one of them. I swear to God, if this tastes like an orange, I'm going to throw something. <laughs> All right, let's see. Well, orange tastes normal. Yeah, so that's weird. If anyone was going to taste like mint, I would have thought it would have been the green shell, but it's not. Yeah, so all the colors taste normal, like a brownie and chocolate. Blue ones, which I'm out of, have an odd mint aftertaste. And the red ones have an odd raspberry aftertaste. But it doesn't say that there's any additional flavors in here other than fudge brownie. I don't get it. The shells of M&M's have never had distinct flavors of their own. So why do two of them in the fudge brownies have their own unique flavor? Overall, they're not bad. Uh, if you like brownies, you'll like these. The chewy texture is a little weird for M&M's, but I don't mind it. It's actually pretty good. Would I buy them again? Sure. Kind of weird how two of the colors have weird after flavors, but for the most part, yeah, not bad. I pretty much ate the whole pack except for like three of them right now. So that's all I have to say about these. Check them out if you like fudge brownies or just brownies in general. You'll probably like them. Otherwise, probably not. All right, so that's it for this episode. Again, as always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Links are in the description, maybe. Ring the bell, make sure you get notifications every time I post new content. And until next time, cheers.